Oh, this is the anniversary of the great blizzard of 1918, very similar to the blizzard of 78. Now we had in some places nearly three feet of snow on the ground at the end of the blizzard. And 16 inches of that or over a foot of that came from the blizzard alone. The thing was brutally cold air came in behind it, just like in 78 temperatures 20, 25 below zero, and we had wind chills as low as 60 below. Again, the same wind chills we had in the Great Blizzard of 78. And this is the map, January 11th, 1918 in the morning. Again, surface low near the Gulf Coast, pretty strong wind, and one in the plains too, and they both converged together. And the 78 blizzard was called the Cleveland Bomb. This is where the low pressure exploded deepened rapidly, but this was called the Toledo bomb. It really blossomed right here. And of course, you can see the very tight lines. If you look closely at the map, you'll see this red line here. That's 20 below. So even when it was 20 below zero, we still had winds gusting 50, 60 miles an hour. Historic storm to say the least. Tonight, skies are clearing in the eastern half of the area. The clearing lines working westward. And I think this lake effect cloud band, even a flurry band, will continue to work into Illinois. But some of the low clouds may get kind of hung up in Newton and Jasper County. So I think it'll be a little warmer there tonight than for the rest of the area. Another shot of cold air coming in as the blowing and drifting uh, it remains quite minor over the next day. Below zero tomorrow night once we get into early Wednesday morning with some freezing fog and then a few snow showers Wednesday, Thursday. Not a big snow though. Five tonight Lafayette, but 11 with the lake effect clouds at Morocco and everyone else pretty similar, right around five degrees for the overnight low and wind chills around 11 below in the morning. Now the high tomorrow will be 13 with an east northeast wind 10 to 15. Wind chills will run near four below zero, but with no wind at all Wednesday, but a lot of clouds. Temps 15 to 20 starts to warm up a little bit. Precision future cast shows the clearing trend tonight and even tomorrow, uh, kind of a mix of sun and some clouds. But then tomorrow night, some freezing fog develops, lowering the visibility in places, making it frosty, but also contributing to some black ice early on Wednesday morning. And low clouds may actually kind of hang on. Uh, some low clouds may hang on into Wednesday, so we'll call Wednesday kind of a mostly cloudy day. However, this next system here will stay south of us. It's going to produce a lot of snow in the southwest. This clipper will stay north of us. So the only thing for us this week, cold front will come through, but it's a Pacific front. It's not colder behind it. They produce a couple snow showers Thursday into Friday. And then January 20th through the 29th, generally above normal temperatures for our area. Normal high is about 31 or 32. However, the problem is we're going to flip things back again. We may be in the 40s, maybe 50s for a day or two late in the month. But January 31st to February 6th, I think an Arctic air mass may come back in and we may start February well below normal, perhaps highs back in the single digits just like we had last week. 70 forecast does moderate though to 33 Friday. You know, a lot of clouds for the weekend, but the temperatures level out in the 35 to 40 range, 37 Saturday, 38 on Sunday, 36 on Monday. Of course, we've got the big Colts game coming up that Rob will have more on. Yep. Looks like Tim's in the 30s up in Foxborough. That's mild by New England standards uh, coming up for the weekend. Yeah, it looked a lot colder than that this past it weekend. Did. It didn't look too bad in Denver. I mean, they, they looked pretty strong degrees, there. So let's yeah. hope for another 